Cholomare Duena is only 19 years old, but he's already an exceptional actor. When he was 11, he made his television debut in the show Parenthood. It's no surprise that several young stars struggle with the shift to adulthood. However, Cholo seems to be managing it like a pro. Today, we'll be talking about 10 things you probably never knew about Mari Duena. First off, at number 10, Cholo started by starring in ads. Cholo's first TV role was on Parenthood, but that was not his official debut in the film industry. He had has been interested in acting since he was just a kid, and he wanted to get his hands on any project he could. To put himself out there, he began his career in commercials and print advertisements. At that time, he was nine years old, and through this project, he landed his first work. It was a Sears advertisement, which is small compared to the major roles that he has played so far. However, working in advertisements is what probably got him into the spotlight. Once he entered the system, he might have made the contacts that brought him where he is today. His first major TV role in Parenthood is what started his career. While talking to Teen Vogue, Mariduena stated that acting was merely a way for him to pay for college and that he was never obsessed with it until later that year when he landed the role of Miguel in Cobra Kai. Moving on to number 9, he has an undying love for movies. Cholo spent little time watching TV when he was younger. However, by the age of 10, he had found his passion for movies. He was asked about what his favorite movies would be, to which he ranked Ferris Bueller's Day Off at number 1. He said he adored it and that it was his favorite John Hughes film. He also remarked about how much he adored The Usual Suspects, and he found the ending fantastic. Among other movies, he enjoyed Studio Ghibli's Princess Mononoke, Up, and Ocean's Eleven. Excluding the first, according to him, these were his top five picks for his favorite movies. He didn't want to set them in any particular order. All of the other movies for him were vying for second place. Up next at number eight, Cholo didn't know a lot about Karate Kid before his audition. Cholo came into this world in 2001. Thus, he was not even considered when Karate Kid came out in 1984. He was simply not even there. Makes us wonder that if he had been born a little earlier, would he have been cast in Karate Kid? But then he'd also have been too old to be part of Cobra Kai. He'd just seen Karate Kid once before when he was little, but it didn't stick with him. Simply put, he wasn't familiar with the film when he initially heard about the Cobra Kai possibility. However, he saw the potential within himself when he came to know about the role. His speculation was right because he got cast in the show eventually. He returned and had to re-watch the movie after getting cast in the show. Coming in at number 7, he has been playing sports while growing up. Cholo has spent the majority of his time acting, although he also has several interests outside of acting. He is an excellent sportsman who enjoys sports such as basketball and tennis. He enjoys playing these sports whenever he gets time outside of acting. He must have a very hectic schedule, but he manages to make time for himself and his sports. When he was younger, he even and studied martial arts for one year. He took karate when he was tiny in the first grade. He only really learned the basics, but unfortunately, when Cobra Kai arrived, he could not recall most of what he had learned. For this reason, his martial arts knowledge had not helped him, but he managed to catch on pretty quickly. Following up with number six, Cholo is extremely humble. Mariduena is a Spanish actor, born in Los Angeles to Omar and Carmelita Ramirez. He comes from a family of showbiz professionals, which makes his on-screen debut feel more natural. His father works as a music producer, while his mother is a radio broadcaster. Cholo's youth has been everything but normal, yet he hasn't allowed his celebrity to inflate his ego. While talking with Glitter, he stated that he has always led a simple life and that his parents have made it a mission to ensure that he, alongside his sister, are both well-rounded. For this reason, he has always been grounded in reality. His parents never spoiled him or his sister with riches and extravagance, which is why he spends a simple life now that he has grown up too. It just makes his character more relatable to the general audience as well. Coming up at number 5, he has quite an interesting name. Romario Cholo Mariduena is his entire name, and this name, Cholo, has a great significance. According to sources close to him, Cholo was named after the Solot constellation, which was directly above him when he was born and also served as the North Star. He is named in Nahuatl, which serves as a symbol of his ancestors. Romario was influenced by his maternal grandfather, Ramon, as well as his uncle, Mario. Cholo's name has an unusual connotation that also pays honor to his ancestors. He explained to Glitter that Cholo is a Nahuatl name. It's an indigenous language still spoken by millions today, most often by folks of Yudo Aztecan ancestry. Sirius is an abbreviation for Dog Star, also North Star. It's the most brightly shining star in the constellation Orion. Some sources have suggested that his name translates literally to God. Moving on to number four, Cholo has a thing for Dungeons and Dragons.
Dragons. Cholomari Duena has been preoccupied with success and rarely finds time for himself. In his spare time, enjoys video games as well as tabletop games. He is a nerd who is obsessed with Dungeons and Dragons. He even takes time out every week to attend a local D&D meetup. When he's not working or enjoying Dungeons and Dragons, he loves listening to music and unwinding. Despite being a suave TV celebrity, he isn't hesitant to show off his nerdy side now and then. Gaming is one of his favorite pastimes, and he isn't afraid to admit to it. D&D is a very public passion of his. We're happy he has something that he gets to enjoy outside of work. Up next at number three, he is an enthusiastic Dodgers fan. It becomes a given fact when you live in a major city. You have to support the team that belongs to your city. However, being a native of Los Angeles, Cholo must choose between rooting for the Dodgers and the Angels. Cholo's heart is probably made up because he is a diehard Dodgers fan. He has season tickets to almost every single game. He takes the time out of his schedule to go and watch the games live. Unfortunately, owing to COVID-19, things had changed a bit this season. Coming in at number two, he is super passionate about social justice. We love to see our favorite actors invested in societal issues, working towards the betterment of their communities. Engaging within his community is a value that Cholo has always treasured. He talked about how he feels passionately regarding foster youth issues, the rights of immigrants, and the need to establish safe communities, away from gun violence on whatever level possible. Due to the values of his particular family, he believed that he tended towards civil rights concern. He actively strives to stay connected with those topics that most affect black and brown communities. Finally, at number one, Cholo's religion can predict the future. Cholo started everyone when he confessed that he and his family practice Ifa, a religion that claims to have practices that allow us to predict the future. The actor was raised in California but has Mexican, Cuban, as well as Ecuadorian ancestors. In the show, Miguel's mother is an Ecuadorian, taking advantage of Cholo's origins. Ifa is a form of the Santera and arrived in America with African slaves, specifically the Yoruba tribe from Nigeria. Regarding this religious order, Cholo clarified that it is not Muslim, but that he honors the Prophet's teachings and practices the traditions accordingly. Ifa divination is based on a system of signals that are deciphered by a deity, the Ifa priest, who translates these signals. This priest is given great importance in their religion, being called Babalawo, which translates to the father of the priest. Being born Born into a family in which values, morality, and religion are given great importance, Cholo also holds his ancestry and his practices in high regard. He considers this an integral part of his identity. And that's a wrap, folks. Which Cholo fact surprised you the most? Tell us in the comments below. And as always, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on more steamy updates about the Cobra Kai cast. See you in the next video.